In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get paid from your online store using Web Starts. When you sign up to create an online store with Web Starts, we automatically configure you to receive credit card payments from your website using another app called WePay that's run by Chase Payment Systems. Let's get started. Go to webstarts.com and click on Get Started, it's free. For this demo, I'm going to select a store template and I choose this one. And now I'm going to sign up to create my account using my name, email address, and choosing a password. Once I've signed up, it's time to choose my web address. I can choose from either a free.webstarts.com address or I can use a top level domain name like a .com, .net, or .org. Just keep in mind that if you choose to use a top level domain name and you select this option, that it will require you to upgrade to a paid account right away. If you want to start out with the free account, go ahead and choose the .webstarts.com address. For this example, I'm just going to choose online store payout. Click continue. You'll see this getting started video pop up in front of the dashboard. I'm just going to go ahead and close that out. And now I'm ready to activate the store app in my account. To do that, come down here and click on the store app panel. And then while this says loading, what it's doing is it's creating a WePay account for you to accept payments in the background. So a few moments after activating the store app in your Web Starts account, you'll receive an email from WePay asking you to confirm that you would like that to use them to receive credit card payments. If you ever need to have that email resent, click on the settings tab and then click where it says click here to resend. Once you've received the email, click confirm and you'll be taken to the setup process for WePay. The first thing you'll need to do is choose a password to go along with your email address for logging in to your WePay account. Agree to the terms and conditions and grant access. WePay ch charges 2.9% of each transaction as a credit card fee. That's about the industry standard for online transactions. Go ahead and go through the process of telling WePay all about yourself, including your name and uh, your address, phone number, and some other information to verify your identity. I've entered in my information, and now I click Submit. And it takes a few moments to verify that information. I'm now on the last step of my account creation. And here I enter my routing number, my account number, my bank name, and I select my account type and how frequently I would like disbursements to my bank account. When you're ready, click Add Bank. And then you're taken back to the Web Starts homepage. Click Go to My Account, and then you can verify by selecting the website, going to the Store app, clicking on the Settings tab, and you can now see under Payment Processor, WePay is selected, and the message asking you whether you'd like to have the email resent has disappeared. Now, when you accept payments, with your online store. It, they will go directly into your bank account on a daily basis. It probably will take a few days for WePay to confirm your identity and make sure that your bank account is legitimate and things like that before you start seeing payments. But after that, they should come in on a regular basis. And if you ever have any questions about your payments or fees, you can always go to WePay.com and log in to their interface and see all the information you need to know. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to visit webstarts.com to create your very own free website and see more videos like this.